Hey everyone, welcome back to Earth and Drone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the camera exposure settings on the DJI Spark. Um, what I'm going to do is show you uh, the manual mode settings that, um, at least for a beginner drone pilot like myself, I was kind of nervous going into, not sure what to expect. So for starters, uh, go ahead and add the histogram. What we can do is go into the camera and then uh, go into settings and add the histogram. Um, and we'll go ahead and start with that. Uh, make sure you're in the camera picture mode that you'd like to be in. I'm in single shot. And then you'll notice the ISO there and the shutter. So those are the two things we are going to be adjusting today. So again, we're at 100 ISO. And uh, what I'm doing is turning away from the sun here just to get a little better picture. So now we're at 1,000, shutter um, 1250, 1600. The picture is getting darker and darker. And so we have to increase the ISO in order to get a brighter picture. So um, getting here close to the end, it's getting darker. But we, again, we just increase the ISO. We're at 800 now. And we're at our max shutter speed of 8,000. So um, we're going to have to move the ISO all the way to 1600. So what I'm going to do is take a picture at this manual mode setting. And we can take a look at it um, in the playback section. And you can see the picture looks great. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell if it was in manual mode or auto mode, so I guess that's a good thing, right? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it, the camera into auto mode to see what the drone would do uh, by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture to compare the differences, if any at all. Um, you can see this picture is got a little more definition, there's more shadows, it's probably a little better color balance as well. So um, obviously manual mode is, or uh, auto mode is much easier to use and if you're just out trying to take some pictures I'd probably go with auto mode but if you're more interested in getting a, maybe a more artistic shot go ahead and hop into manual mode and play around with the ISO and the shutter speed. Um, so I'm at a max shutter speed 8000 and and I'm going to go ahead and play around uh, with the ISO so you can see so we're at 400 and as we move the shutter speed down it's going to get brighter and brighter um, so uh, basically slowing down the shutter is going to let in more light um, which is why our picture is getting a lot brighter so down here around 400 and lower it's basically can't even see what's going on but as we increase the shutter speed and we have our ISO down at 100 uh, the picture starts to look a lot better. Um, so basically that, that's all I really wanted to show today is the difference between auto mode and manual mode. Um, this is something also that was kind of interesting. I went ahead and went in sport mode and took a picture uh, with a really fast shutter speed to see um, if there would be any blurriness or anything like that. And, and you can see that the, the, the drone did a really nice job with the picture. No blurriness. Um, picture came out really clear as you can see so alright everyone well thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video um, again if you are enjoying the content please subscribe and like my videos I really appreciate it I love to interact with my viewers and uh, go ahead and check out some of these other videos that I put together um, that I really think you might enjoy thanks a lot